thanks for joining me. I'm gonna. I like those videos. They start off and uh, it's like the guy doesn't know the camera's there, so he's carrying on his thing and dun -dun -dun -dun. he looks up and goes, "Oh, I didn't see you there." I think you're funny. Anyway, I don't think I'd ever do that myself, seriously. But anyway, um, I was going to demonstrate another one, of the, another tool that I made. It's not I didn't invent the tool, but it's just a. Uh, a nice device for making more than one of something. Let's say you want to make a mug and you get a bunch of balls of clay. I weigh them out. Small mugs I do three quarters of a pound and the larger ones <clears throat> I use uh, uh, one pound. And it roughly it works out to one ounce of clay is, holds one ounce of, of fluid kind of thing. A little less sometimes. So you want to make more than one mug. So. Uh, <clears throat> There's a couple ways you can do it. Measuring, some people just use like a, um, a ruler and stuff and measure. Um, I've gone ahead and actually created a mug here. I'm going to bring it down and zoom in. Could the beginnings of a mug here. And so I'll finish it off <clears throat> and then to demonstrate the rest of it. getting used to these glasses. I just started wearing glasses a while ago. My wife was, was sneaky and she, she made an uh, appointment for me at an optrician place to get my eyes checked. And, uh, oh crap, that didn't work. Cut. <laughs> hey, let's try that again. I had a mug actually on there and I thought it could just carry on and finish it, but Behold, I sat around too long because I used it for a product shot for something else. In the meantime, so it sat in there for about 15 or 20 minutes and uh, I tried to pull it up and I can show you some of the clip of what happened to it. <laughs> so, anyway, let's pick up where I left off here and uh, a little rug shape. And then I'll introduce this little gizmo right here. And what that's for. I'll try to speed some of this up, take it out, and bore you with the details. So you're pretty happy with this one style. Pull it up to a pretty healthy size, and uh, take my little sponge stick here. Get all the excess water out of the middle. And use my handy dandy credit card, credit card uh, and take the extra play away. The reason it's obvious when you start throwing clay, you don't need extra, extra stuff in So now I'm just going to make this nice and smooth. Thin out a little bit. Let's say I like that shape. That's a pretty good shape. I want to make more of those. So what I want to do is uh, cut the shape as I set up this little fella here. And, uh, it's a little gauge here. And I actually made this gauge from uh, a couple of bamboo uh, wooden spoons believe it or not, and uh, all you do is uh, you cut it off the camera. Let's see if I can show you what I'm doing here. I'm just unscrewing this little bolt and moving it over so I'm lining up this little end right here, right where I want the cup to end. So I'm put the gauge right there. <clears throat> now when I throw the next one, I pull the clay right up to that same spot. And then I want to cut it away, I can flip it up. Flip it up, flip it down, 
and uh, voila, that's all there is to it. So uh, cut this one off, plunk down the next uh, ball of clay, <clears throat> and I'm in business. I keep making them uh, the same because I know it's because of the balls of clay are all the same weight. I know if I do everything correctly, like make the floor the same thickness, the right thickness, um, and the walls and pull the same height, they'll all match. And that's what you use. And then you got to keep an eye out for the form as well because uh, that's what I use the mirror for. I don't have it right now to show you, but I have a mirror that I can look at uh, <clears throat> and uh, look at the side profile. It saves me having to arch myself over, <laughs> just unpleasant. So, uh, anyway, that's. Uh, <clears throat> That's the name of that tune. Oops, hello. So, thank you for uh, watching. I'll uh, put a couple of clips of uh, some of the close-ups of the little gizmo. Anyway, thanks for uh, for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it.